Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, back now to the title race and time for a little pep talk. Always I believe that the, the top clubs are, you know, in the beginning of the season to fight for the titles or win the titles. But in the same time, what I'm proud of most is the fact I arrive again after five seasons at the end of the season fighting for the titles. Always I learned that in Barcelona when I have a, um, a close friend, a physical trainer, who said to me, the big clubs always have to arrive in April, May fighting for the title. This is a success season. Not drop in November, December, you have chance, any chance to win the titles. And we are there. So we close when we are right now today, top of the league and, and quarter final, the semi-finals for another two competitions. So that's good. Now it's try to, you know, to try to fight for them. Morris! Oh, that's glorious. Technique beyond your wildest dreams. In the season, always there are highs and lows, good moments, bad moments, uh, you know, injuries, so always. That's why the Premier League or the, the long, long competition, it's, it's the most difficult thing because always you have to overcome situations. This is more important uh, from my point of view, you know, every, every season being the champions the next season. This is the most difficult thing in football, modern football and competition, to be consistent for a long, long time. And we were able to do it. And this season we were able to do it again. When you are champions, the big mistake or the big problem you have is you start to believe or think something like you are not. The concepts, the principles, the you know what you have to do as a team for your mates, do you mate for yourself, you have to do it, continue. And that is the point. I like the Premier League more than any other competition to win it because why you like more? Because when you win the Premier League means you win a lot of weeks and these weeks you won, you are happier. You go to sleep better, you, your dinner is better, your relation with the players and the staff is better. And, and I don't like to win one title when 10 mouth was, you know, not good. And because you win one competition, it's like it's four, five, six games. That's why the Premier League is the consistent and every day and you win, the day after is better and you prepare the other one is better and you win again and again. And that's why, that's why always I give a lot of credit to the, 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 you know, the consistent for many, many years, you know, in the last four years, three. And now we are still there. And so the special game, the rapt attention of the planet. He faced an incredible contender. Come on, it's, when you watch them, you see them. So pff, they are one of the toughest opponents I ever faced in my managerial career by far. And still being there after winning that means a lot. It means a lot for us, a lot. I love this game and you know I like the competition I like when uh, when we won and someone chase you you know to beat you and scary to lose to disappoint the people like support me and I don't want to disappoint the players I don't want to they feel my decisions bad and that make you you know think about it and do it and adrenaline for the you know the grass the green the 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 spectators the crowd the media but in the same time I admit it I'm not the same like I arrive but at the end I arrive here to prove myself I could do it in England I already done I play against any team and I lose but I win and we do it the titles are done so what's next and after I had to stop and when they're going to finish, I will stop because I have to find a new challenge, a new, a new, a new situation. And but in that moment today, I'm not thinking about that because we we were nine months or eight nine months to arrive in this position, to arrive the last two, to try to you know to to, to win the titles. Pep Guardiola there, who's won what eight major trophies in the last four seasons. Not gonna panic, is he? He's not, but. Could the Champions League now prove to be a bit of a distraction now, Don? Because we know how much he wants it. I don't think it will. Um, I know it's, I know it's on his mind for sure, and it's on every mind of a Man City fan. I think the way he manages the team that he's got, the squad that he's got, he'll find solutions. He won't just play the same team. In an ideal world, if you've got your best eleven, he won't go my best eleven because he trusts these players, he trusts his squad mm. to be rotation. Um, and I think he'll just look at individual games and say, that's my 11 for that game. Mm. He'll fast forward to a Champions League game and say, that's my 11. It'll be close. I don't think there'll be six, seven changes like Liverpool had against Watford, mm. uh, sorry, when they played in the Cup a couple of weeks back. Um, but I think, I think he'll rotate. He has really, to. Really interesting hearing Don say that, because Leroy, over the last sort of two, three seasons, 
we're always playing a little bit of pet roulette with who we may or may not start. Mm. Liverpool have such depth in their squad now that I think that conversation's shifted mm. over to Jurgen Klopp's selection. Yeah, it certainly has. But for Man City, I think mean, Don's right. I don't think it'd be a distraction. But what Pep's doing is that Man City usually play more or less the same, but just tweet the front three. Like who, in terms of who plays where, does Foden play down the centre? Does he play on the left? I think that's what he'll do with Atletico Madrid. But what we do know that they'll have most of the ball against Atletico yeah. Madrid. So will it be a distraction? Uh, no, not at all. But it'll be a really good build-up to another big game against Liverpool. That's what you want to do, get momentum. So it will have an effect on the Liverpool game, their performance against Atletico Madrid in that first leg. But the front three is, is, re is really interesting because, you know, we said about Sterling, Foden. You know, Sterling's not been really a number one choice. He's mm. tried to integrate Grealish and I think that's taken a little bit of time. Mahrez, when he's played, I think he's been outstanding you know, for, on that right-hand side. Uh, and Foden, I think, is the best <laughs> false number nine I I've seen. But he will tweet that.